You know, it's looking good. God's been good to me. Times was hard. I was on here pretty miserable, talking real bad and shit. But I done got a few hits, you know, a few comments, people talking to me, replying. Shocking, you know what I mean? I just started this out of spite, and you know, it's actually it motivated me to make a lot of different changes and moves in my life. Today might be my last day staying in hotels and motels. You know, it's really been costing me. Got, you know, the double beds, queens, you know, flat screen. Just common shit, but what's, what's your own spot? That's what it's all about, you know what I mean? Paying a motherfucker once a month instead of every day. But today's been a good day, you know? I didn't have to use my AK. I've been getting a lot of threat, threat, but, uh, death threats. Excuse me, that's the word I'm looking for. But you know, real killers move in silence. They not gonna tell you they about to come do something to you. They would have just came and did it. And then what's funny is like, I've been in the same hood my whole life. You niggas know that. I moved out the hood for about nine years, you know, tried to be a family man, tried to take care of my wife and kids. I wish them the best, you know what I mean? But, you know, you will be getting served because they're not just your kids, lady. They are kids. I've been cussing out a lot of people. Everybody want to get tough. You know what I mean? 13 years I've been with that woman and nobody ever gave us a penny nor helped us everything I did. You know what I'm saying? But now that I'm fighting to see my children, you motherfuckers got shit to say and like I give a fuck about your opinion. <laughs> you ain't never did shit to help me take care of my kids, to help me keep a roof over my head, to pay my bills, put food on my table to provide. I did that, I made that happen. I still have a fall. Like, like Uncle Sugar always say, you cannot pull a bone out my back nor take my joy. I know every video I'm smoking a cigarette. I'm feeling kind of good, you know, how to do bar. It's the life, you know, Southern California. Smoke big trees, that loud, that gas. <laughs> All you niggas around the world call it, you know what I mean? I did a lot of traveling. You know, I have been out the continent a couple of times. I have seen the world, you know. Educated from the hood, you know. I'm still from the hood. Hunnets, Century Finest. Look me up, you know what I'm saying? I'm starting this blog. I'm giving y'all my name. Let y'all know where I'm from. If you don't already know me, you, you get to know me on this. You feel me? But I'm feeling, I'm feeling real blessed. You know, it's the first time in 13 years that I had to worry about nobody but me. It ain't been, oh, uh, the kids want some chicken nuggets. Oh, uh, can you stop hustling and getting money to, uh, bite my feet off and dumb shit, you know what I mean? Like, bitch, I can't be at two places at one time. Like, who, who can do it? I'm not Superman. I'm changing the phone booth, but at the same time, I realized that I made a lot of mistakes, you know what I mean? I got married pretty young. I'm in my 30s now, young 30s. But, you know, God works in mysterious ways. And I come to the realization that it's time for me to worry about me. I can't wait to go to the club. I can't wait to go shopping. You know how many kids Jordans I done bought? How many kids jackets and outfits and uh, haircuts and oh man. You could do that all by yourself. <laughs> you couldn't even take care of yourself, boo. <laughs> but once I make it, I, I, I ain't gonna be a bitch. I'm gonna make sure my kids always live my lifestyle. And you know, hotels and motels ain't the lifestyle for no kids, you know, no babies. I ain't been able to speak to them in about eight days, but you know, I want them to know I love them, and I, every day I've been thinking about them. 
And your daddy will always be there for y'all. Just give me a call. Look me up. Find me on YouTube, son. I learned YouTube from you, son. I got a call. You know, let me answer that. I'm sorry about that. You know, I had to answer a little question and shit. Phone call. Nigga tell me, Inglewood police right there, man. God damn, I hate Inglewood police. Them is some of the jankiest motherfuckers on God's green planet. You niggas know you janky. Cracker ass crackers don't even live in Inglewood, though. But you come to work in Inglewood every day and give a nigga a hard time. I don't know why the police are such assholes, you know what I mean? They was them niggas that got talked about in class. That I used to bag on and shit. Now they got a little authority and shit. Think they won't get their ass whooped. Take that, take that uh, badge and put that gun down, tough guy. Get this west side ass whooping. This niggas. I apologize again, you know. I, you know, I should have put my phone on airplane mode. They keep on interrupting us, people. But, you know, it's all about motivation and building. I'm a build from here, you know what I mean? Build me a big old house. My kids gonna have two rooms. <laughs> I love you guys. I love talking to my fans and my family. Oh, my homies, my niggas is here, though. What's up with you, gutter, gutter? What's up, my little homie, though? Yeah. You know, so I'm gonna have to leave y'all alone, nigga. The bros is here. But, oh, yeah. These nuts, bitch. You bitch. <laughs> hey, we hit it right.